Hello and welcome to the Beer Tools. This is my tech it on how to survive on the moon tutorial. If you haven't checked out part one, which I'll show you all the materials you need for the stuff you're going to need to survive on the moon, go and check it out. It should be on the screen now. If not, be at the end of, this, end of this episode. So go and check that out for everything you need because you will need this stuff to survive. You have been warned. So. Here we go. Stuff you'll need on the moon. You're going to need your oxygen mask. You're going to need your oxygen gear. You're going to need two fuel oxygen tanks. Now, if you haven't watched that, you're going to need oxygen compressor and an oxygen uh, oxygen compressor and oxygen collector. And you put your air tanks in here, which you make from that recipe over there. You can check in part one. And you can check on and how to make all this stuff in my first episode. It'll show you how to make it all. And uh, once you have that, you're going to need your oxygen collector. I need a oxygen collector and a bubble oxygen bubble distributor and some oxygen pipe. You're also gonna need a load of leaves as well. I'll show you why when we get up there. Oh, sorry. So also you're gonna need a power source. I'm gonna use some redstone energy cells. You can use anything. You can use some magnetic engines or some uh, ste steam engines, etc. When you're up there, but you're gonna need power when you're up there. You are. So in my previous episode, I used this fuel loader to fuel my rocket ship with fuel. So as you can see here, fuel is at 100%, Captain. So, I want to go to the moon. So let's go to the moon. So I press spacebar and it goes, you haven't got a parachute. Meh, I'll be fine. So you press spacebar again and you begin to launch. Oh, look at that noise. Oh. Let's go inside. Where's the window? No, oh God, no. Why? Let's go then. There we go. And away we go. Hi cows. I can see my house from here. So as you can see here, you just launch through the sky and you continue going. If you look to the left of the screen, you can see my space over there. You can, so I'm gonna go away now and fast forward it until I reach the moon. Once you get to a certain height, you'll have this. Uh, you'll have this turn up. You can go create space station, which I'll get into another part. But we want to go to the moon, as you see. Habitable, no oxygen, eighty percent gravity. So, go send to send di to dimension. As you go, you got your little moon lander. Space to slow down. I like to leave this as soon as possible. Go. Fire retros. Yeah. As you can see, I've been here before. And you got quarry over there. Come on. Right, this is boring. Screw this. You can jump out, you can. Wee. I wouldn't suggest doing this because uh, you probably will die. <laughs> but since I've got... Let's look at that. Just see it floating down. But since I've got thing on as we come here, this little area set up, as you can see, I've got footprints. And now I'm on the moon. Wee. Right. First of all, let's switch to normal mode. As you can see I've got my oxygen tanks are using. I'm using my oxygen tanks. The on the left, top left of the screen, you've got a picture of your oxygen tanks as well. So how much oxygen you're going to win. So I'm dancing on the moon. So this is your spacecraft. Now I can't remember how you get your stuff out of this now. I think I need a pick. Pick. Let's just grab a diamond pick because I'm awesome like that. There we go. And then you get your stuff back. You get, well, you get your fuel, partially fueled fuel, you get your rocket launcher, and you get your spaceship as well. So now you got that, you can get back to Earth. Now let's just go. Let's go moonwalking. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. So now you're on the moon. So what do we do now? Well, over here I've got a few bits and pieces. But here we have our oxygen distributor. Oh, so they've actually renamed it. That's interesting. But inside there, I have my oxygen collector, which is collecting 19% oxygen. Now, everything needs power. Now, let me just set this up quickly. So, we've got our oxygen collector. And this is our, this big hole here is your out. So, you can have your pipe coming out like that. Now, if you want to connect this up. So, for example, I've put this down there. If you want to connect the other hole up, because if I put this down now, it, oh, no, I can't collect it up. Let's just collect that back. And, but if you want to cut it out properly, you come to this side and you put that down there. So this is your oxygen distributor. Now this needs power. 
so I'm just going to chuck a redstone, but you can use any type of engine. And I'm just going to surround this with leaves. You go, leaves? Leaves can't survive on the moon. Well, apparently they can for a little while. They can't do it for long. But the more leaves you put around this, the more oxygen it will pull in. It will, apparently. I don't know why. It has. I don't know how that works or anything, but the more leaves you put around it, the more oxygen it can put in, but the leaves don't last for long, I've, I'm not too sure the exact time they last, I've even put them, tried putting them around trees, and uh, the trees don't even keep them alive, now, I don't know why, but as you come down here, you can click on it, and it's got pulling in 21%, putting out that much, so as you come in here, but this is need oxygen, this needs power, so, I should have one more in here, there we go, so if I put power to this, it should make an oxygen bubble. Here we go, you can see the oxygen bubble making. Go on, rise my oxygen bubble. Come on, bigger. There, so now you're inside this oxygen bubble. Now it's making that oxygen input around about the same percent because this is only putting out so much oxygen. This is. So it's made this nice bubble it has. You can go in and out. Now, uh, if I take my oxygen tanks out, I can survive, look, woo, I'm alive, I'm alive, but if I go outside, out, there's no oxygen outside, so, no, eh. oxygen set, oh, so you do die, but very, very slowly, so unless you've got no health at all, but if I just put my air tanks back in, look at that, I'm fine. Woo. But look, you can see your oxygen bubble. Now you're going to need a few of these. Now this one's already set up. But look, you can see the leaf's already terrain. But I can put this in. And. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah. Whatever you do, if you're playing on normal mode, do not get take, do not use a pickaxe to pick these up. Because they will break. So let's just turn this on quickly. Just going to grab one more of these. And that, got another bubble making. Like that, and this is how you survive on the moon. You can. The thing is, you can connect as many of the. You can connect as many of them up to that as you want. For example, let's just take this off. So you got oxygen bubble distributor. Like this, and as long as they've got power, they are fine. See, look, it's just two more bubbles. Open up. So as you can see, the the bubbles are open up. Not so much though because it's sharing the oxygen. But this is how you survive on the moon. You can build your base on the moon as long as you've got a little uh, like oxygen plant like this. You can survive on the moon. You can take your oxygen tanks off. You can take everything off. You can. And that I'm I'm surviving on the moon. But as long as you've got oxygen on you, you will survive. But as long as you're in the outside this. You will survive as long as this is getting oxygen. See that it's gone down to 17%. That one has this one. Let's have a look at look. Ow. Oh, oh, balls. That wasn't meant to happen. See, it's 22% to 22.6. But the more leads you have around it, the more oxygen you pull in, the longer you can survive. But this is pretty cool that you can survive on the on the moon with just using oxygen. I don't know how this works. Don't ask me. But you will need power sources and you will need leads. So that's how you survive on the moon. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, people. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. And bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>